Good morning, afternoon, it's one o'clock. So, um, Mary and I are moving stuff into the apartment today. Um, we're just having a bit of a lunch break and then we're going to really focus on our reading corner today. So I thought this could be its own like standalone moment because the reading corner is very important to us. Mm -hmm. So maybe this will be tomorrow's video if I edit or maybe tomorrow I won't have a video. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, I thought I would share how we're styling our reading corner, like what we're doing, where we got stuff, what's the dealio with that. And I don't know, just, just how to make a cozy nook in your apartment. I think that's about it. That's about the reason why. We have a good mix of like used and new things in there too, mm -hmm. which is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we're gonna put up our books. Like we're really just gonna complete that section of the house, which is one of the reasons I wanna do this. And also I feel like the reading nook is something that from the get go was like super important to us. We were mm -hmm. like, yes. Well, we, yeah, when we were looking at spaces even, that was one of the consider, not, not that it was a selling feature, mm -hmm. but it was something where each apartment we were like, oh, like where would we put this? Yeah, so. and well, as soon as we walked into this one, we were like, this area would be perfect for that. Yeah. And yeah, so we have some stuff in the corner already, um, but we definitely need to try and configure it and <laughs> make it work. So we'll go through prices, we'll go through thought process, you'll get to see us like try and make the reading nook of our dreams. So yeah. let's get Stay into it. Together. Stay <laughs> playful together. Stay playful together. the TikTok sound. <laughs> what is it people people do hard people things? People can do hard things. People can do hard things. And that's what this is. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's. What is it that people it. do? They go, let's just hop right into it. <laughs> so, this is where we're at. Um, we have two Calyxes. So, mine I bought at full price at IKEA, and Mary got hers secondhand a few years ago. Um, clearly they both need a little bit of love. Mine needs a little bit of touch-ups on the side just from where it was on the floor and I need to take these off. <sighs> My swivel chair I believe was $130 and I got it from a vintage store called Evergreen Paper Thrift on Instagram. I will put it down in the bio below. The pillow was a pillow I had from Target many years ago. This pillow I got from Kijiji uh, in Brampton. It was $20. This rug is a new rug from Ikea. This is $50. So this is probably the most expensive thing in the reading nook area. Um, these two little tea lights are from my mom. They've been part of our family for years and years and years. The rug, uh, we DIY'd it, or the rug, sorry, the stool, we DIY'd it. It was free. It was a set of two that the guy just ended up giving to us. Uh, this little plant probably won't stay here, but that was from um, Ikea. So was this plant, this is a spider wart. The planter it is in was actually uh, bought off of Kijiji. It's a set of three. So we have the two others in the apartment. And then the uh, earth globe was free when we picked up our entryway rug. She had mentioned we could grab anything else we wanted. Uh, on her porch and so that's what we grabbed. So as of right now, the reading nook is kind of looking like this. So yeah, we're not loving the layout. So we're gonna play around with the layout a little bit. Um, but this is how it's starting. making the reading corner complete. It's still not 100% done. I feel like anytime you watch these like room makeovers, they always say, oh, like, it's not done. Touches. But yes. I think it's like pretty much 
where we want it. So I'm just gonna show how we what we've done and yeah, let's go from there. Okay, so um, as you can see, ugh, it's looking so cute. Okay, so the first thing we did was we changed this arrangement. This is more kind of what we were originally picturing. It's just hard because the radiator did kind of change things a little bit, but I think overall it turned out really cute. Um, so we just added, I have a cute little orange blanket here. Sometimes you just wanna cozy up with a blanket. So I put this one. Um, we added this lamp that used to be my mom's. Um, and then I have this set of Rifle Paper & Co. classics from Indigo. I don't remember how much these are, do you know? I think they still sell them on the website. It's like, it's a box set. It's like, I'm like, like 30 60. to 40, maybe? maybe? Maybe even more than that, like 50. Yeah, but they're so gorgeous. So we have Little Women, Anne of Green Gables, Little Princess, and Heidi, like, excuse me. And then we have this cute little Aladdin cactus from Disney Store Paris. And then we have a Birdie Bots Every, Favor Every Flavored Beans box from Harry Potter World in London or the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, whatever it's called. Not to, I don't know. Who cares? Then um, in my Calax unit, um, you'll notice there's two kind of bottom shelves. That's because this one is going to have a box that will have all my exercise gear in it. It's like a box that fills up the whole thing. It's made for the Calax. It, 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 yeah, it'll just be tucked in there and fine. And then in here, it's going to be kind of practical and work stuff. So I didn't want to take a shot because I don't want to ruin it with the practicality. <laughs> so then let's just look up here and how cute it is. So we organized by rainbow. We have one little like display shelf, which has the Grimmery and the Aladdin musical book. Uh, along with a plant and Tinkerbell because, you know, she's a Tinker Fairy, so she has to be here. It makes sense, trust me. <laughs> and then we have Mary's bookshelf, looking super cute as well. Uh, her rainbow looks so adorable. I feel like she has more variety of colors of books than I do, so. I, I have a lot of blue. A lot of blue, but you also have a nice pop of yellow, which I feel like yeah. I literally have like two yellow books right there. True. Yeah. Also, your Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is different. Oh. My spine is different. It is. So, this is my Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. This is Mary's. I, I don't know. know. I got mine the night it released in Indigo, had like an event. Oh, I think I bought mine in, well, I, when I saw it in London because okay. then I got them to sign it. Okay, so that might be it. Oh, ignore all the, ignore that. Ah, that doesn't exist. Okay. Also, this is this is going to be changed. Yeah, so Mary also has a grimmery that she's gonna tuck probably under the Hamilton book because I think it's a bit longer. Yeah. Uh, so then the teacup and the this will probably sit on top of Hamilton so it'll feel less crowded than on that tiny little Yeah, because some Shakespeare. of this is being moved into my room. Yeah. Um, and then at the bottom, we just have like our game station and Albus Dumbledore because he is a smarty patoots. Um, so we just have all of our games because of course that has to be here in the reading nook. And we have a globe that eventually we want to DIY and kind of paint it and make it cultured. Yeah, <laughs> we're like educated or whatever. But I'm honestly, great. even as it's colorful, I don't hate it. No. Like the color with it. No, I but think it works, but it'll be nicer once it's painted for sure. Yeah, so just one more overview. I'll get out of the way. So this is how it's looking. Um, I feel like there's not much else to say. I know I kind of already said prices of like the carpet and the plant and all that. The books are obviously, I mean, maybe not obviously, but they're all books we already owned. Um, I don't think we bought anything else for the reading corner other than this, which was free. The chair, which I mean, I already had, but bought it for the anticipation. The stool, which was free. The rug, $50. That I already had from Indigo. I think it's originally... Those were 40, those were yeah. but I got Mary's discount when she worked there. So I got it for like $25, $30 or something like that. Um, we actually bought very little for the reading part. And the plant. And the plant part. Yeah, and the plant, which the plant itself was $5. And then the planter was, like I said, a set of three. And it was $20 for all three. So it was like $7 for this one, if you want to kind of math it up. The original price of that was 10 Yeah. So overall, we did this reading corner definitely on a budget, really just reusing what we had. And oh my gosh, it's so cute, I love it. 
Hi, so once again, I'm coming at you because I forgot to do an outro. So yeah, that is our Reading Nook makeover. Um, I don't know how many of these like room specific videos I'll be making, but if you like it, let me know and maybe I can make more. It's just the Reading Nook was something we were really excited about um, and really, like I said, wanted to make really cozy and I think we succeeded in that. So I hope you enjoyed watching this transformation of this area and please stick around and watch. I have some videos where we are coming up where we have actually talked a little bit more about how we've sourced and the apartment transformation in general and all of that kind of stuff. And that is everything and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!